Can you imagine finding $200,000 in a duffel bag in your back garden? Or stumbling across an ever before seen meteorite worth millions? What about a stranger hiding in your attic? Well, all those once in a lifetime events and more have happened before. Scattered across the USA and beyond, a handful of particular people have stumbled across some truly incredible discoveries. From bags full of cold, hard cash, to secret rooms, and even entire passageways connecting to the ancient pyramids. Yeah, those pyramids. You'll never believe what these men and women accidentally found on their own property. Ready to see it all for yourself? Let's dive in. Hearing strange sounds coming from your house is every homeowner's worst nightmare, and Davis Wallman from Seattle knows that all too well. Back in 2016, Davis came home from work just before midnight on a Monday and noticed something a little strange. The upstairs light in his parents' room was on, but his parents weren't supposed to be home, although they did stop in from time to time, so he didn't give it too much thought. On Tuesday morning, Davis was awoken by loud, unusual noises from the upstairs attic. Perhaps his mom had popped over to do some cleaning, but why would she do such a thing in the dark, early hours of a Tuesday morning? Taking matters into his own hands, he went to investigate. When he tried to open the office door which led to the attic, it didn't budge. It was never locked. At that point, Davis grew concerned. He knocked on the door, and the response was enough to give any horror enthusiast goosebumps. Jimmy? Is that you? Jimmy? Davis had never met anyone named Jimmy in his life. The woman told him that she'd been camping out there for three days because this mysterious Jimmy person told her to. In the 18 minutes that it took for the cops to arrive, the woman had fled into the darkness, and it's believed she's never been caught. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, almost 12 out of 10,000 people fall victim to property crime every year, sometimes involving hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of theft. To be one of those 12, you either need a target on your back or to be dealt a serious blow of bad luck. But for every bad luck stricken person who's found something alarming on their property, there's something who's hit the jackpot, someone who stumbled across extremely valuable treasure. Case in point, Matthew Emanuel, a fellow from Staten Island. He, like a few fortunate others that we'll circle back to in a jiffy, had his life changed forever when his backyard dealt him a pleasant surprise. Matthew had hired a company to remove some wilting trees and replace them with bamboo, but shortly after the digging commenced, they hit a cable box submerged in the dirt. At least, they thought it was a cable box. In reality, it was a safe. With his heart in his mouth, Matthew watched as the builders broke it open with a pickaxe. What did they find? bags and bags of expensive rare jewelry, and a bundle of old, extremely fragile $100 bills. The bills alone tallied $16,300. Including the jewelry, that number soared to $52,000. It's the polar opposite of finding a lady in your attic, that's for sure. But the story of this fascinating discovery doesn't end just yet. The safe also came with a clue, an address in Brooklyn. Matthew managed to connect with the residents of that Brooklyn address and concluded, remarkably, that the buried treasure had been stolen from their house years earlier. $52,000 is a monumental find, but it's nowhere near as much as Bob Kitts, a Cleveland-based home improvement contractor witnessed back in 2007. As he was renovating a client's bathroom, ripping plaster away from the walls, Kitts found himself gobsmacked to discover bundles of cash wrapped in early 20th century newspapers, once counted. A whopping $182,000 in Depression-era money was ready to be claimed. But that was just the face value. Due to their rarity and excellent condition, currency appraisers valued the treasure to be worth up to $500,000 by today's standards. There was just one problem. Who was the rightful owner of the cash? Was it Bob Kitts, the contractor? Or was it Amanda Reese, the homeowner? What about the descendants of Patrick Dunn, the man who the cash originally belonged to? If you ask Bob Kitts, it's fine keepers. Clearly, Amanda had other ideas. She offered 10% to Bob, but he demanded 40. From there, things turned sour. Ironically, because they couldn't fairly divide the money, they both ended up with zilch. After the dispute went to court, the judge declared that the cash be split among the 21 descendants of Patrick Dunn. Had Bob and Amanda just agreed, the true heirs would never have had knowledge that the money ever existed. Fortunately, 
for Chicago resident Wayne Sabosh, things went far smoother, and he actually got to keep what he was lucky enough to find. Back in 2011, Wayne walked into his back garden, just like he would on any other day. But rather than find some sprouting spinach or lettuce, he found a bag full of cold, hard cash. Out of fear that the family might be linked to a robbery, Wayne's parents called the police and reported the questionable loot. The officers inspected the money, and to their bewilderment, counted $150,000. Strangely enough, the police traced the money to the Sabaj's former neighbor, Dolores Johnson. You'd think it was stolen, right? Not quite. In truly bizarre fashion, Dolores hurled the cash over the fence and buried it because she thought it carried a dark curse. Dolores passed away, so her daughter Diana Howe came forward to claim the cash. After a lengthy court dispute, the judge decided to split the money between the two families. Bob Kitts wasn't the only renovator to strike gold, or should we say, strike silver. Back in 2010, James Seavers was knee-deep in a home renovation project when his shovel smacked into something hard and out of place. It was just a boring old tube. Its contents, however, were life-changing. Hidden within the piping, which had a date stamp from 1982, were 18 bars of solid silver. At the time, they were worth about $2,600 each, roughly $46,000 total. At this point, all of the silver was rightfully his. Unlike Bob and Amanda, James was the only person involved, but out of interest, James did some research and discovered that the silver must have belonged to a man named Clint Nelson, who lived in the Idaho home back in 1982. In a showing of true selflessness, James offered to give it all back to Clint. His response? You keep it, buddy. It's all yours. To appease his conscience, James eventually decided to give 50% of the findings back to Clint anyway. It's not the first time someone's uncovered a secret stash, and it won't be the last. Sometimes the discovery isn't just a small box of cash or a tube of silver. People can and people have unearthed entire hidden rooms. One Reddit user shared his anonymous story, and it's nothing short of amazing. He had discovered that his childhood home formerly served as a general store during the Prohibition era. Back in those days, it was common for law skirters to install secret hooch rooms where people could go to drink without getting caught. The house in question supported a fascinating disguise mechanism. It operated by a pulley system, which, when triggered, would cloak the speakeasy, hiding it from the general public. Clever, isn't it? A secret room is impressive, there's no denying that. But what an Egyptian citizen known only as Nagy found back in 2014? Well, that blows a secret room out of the water. When Nagy was digging in his backyard, he unearthed a small cavern. As he explored, to his amazement, it went on and on and on. This wasn't an independent cave or a forgotten well. This was a 33-foot tunnel leading to the famous pyramid of Khufu, the oldest of the three Giza pyramids. Herodotus, an ancient Greek historian, believed that a tunnel just like this one had been used as far back as the 5th century BC. Following Herodotus's instinct, Archaeologists had spent 30 years and millions of dollars searching for this long-lost corridor. Now, thanks to Nagy's groundbreaking accidental discovery, scientists have reason to believe that there's a lost temple nearby, somewhere underground near the Nile River. While anyone would be thrilled to find a shiny nugget of silver in their backyard, it's often the ancient discoveries, like this historic tunnel or preserved century-old bills, that hold the highest financial value. In 1978, Californian Gary Johnson learned that firsthand when a colossal whale fossil weighing over a thousand pounds poked out of the earth in his backyard. But it wasn't until 2014 that Gary realized the significance of this rock. It took another nearby fossil discovery for him to put two and two together after which he contacted the Natural History Museum Lickety Split. There are only about 20 baleen whale fossils in the world, considering that this one was estimated to be between 16 and 17 million years old, its value is nearly priceless. Turns out that Gary isn't the only one to profit from finding an ultra-rare rock. Over on a Michigan farm, one man had been using a $100,000 meteorite as a doorstop for over 30 years. He was simply clueless that it was worth that much. When the man from Grand Rapids signed the deed to his farm outside of Edmore back in 1988, the previous owner actually told him that the doorstop was a meteorite from the 1930s. Allegedly, the former owner had witnessed the space rock shoot down from the starry night sky. 
Evidently, the farmer didn't take too much notice of this story when he bought the place. To him, it was just a strange-looking 22-pound rock that acted as a more than serviceable doorstop. Once he decided to have some experts take a closer look, the news was astounding. The meteorite was officially the sixth largest ever to be found in Michigan, and as you can imagine, he walked away with a heck of a smile once he learned how much it was really worth. As long as the discovery isn't an erratic squatter, finding something unusual in your attic is usually good news. Forgotten items occasionally skyrocket in value over time, even if they don't. Some old photos or baseball cards at least provide a good couple hours worth of nostalgic entertainment. When Ohio man Carl Kissner was cleaning up the attic in his aunt's house, the baseball cards he dug up brought back a whole lot more happy memories. The collection of about 700 cards, which used to belong to his grandfather, featured Hall of Famers like Ty Cobb and Cy Young. Without much interest in keeping the collection, Carl put the collection to auction. To his sheer delight, the final selling price pushed past, ready for this, $3 million. It was one of the most exciting finds in the history of sports card collecting. What's the strangest thing you've ever found? Let us know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a great day. See you next time.